answer right now. Right now. <laughs> oh, baby. I don't understand what she's doing. Oh, oh, sh oh, damn, baby. <laughs> All right, so obviously, this movie was sponsored by Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. They sent over a copy of the movie The Shallows for, for me to take a look at. And me and Alistair, being in a long distance relationship, we like to watch movies, TV shows together, so we thought watching The Shallows would be pretty awesome. You know, we both hadn't seen it. I remember, you know, a few months back when the trailer came out, I, th I thought it was really good, but I never made my way into the theater to see it. And so I was really excited to watch it with Alistair, the baby boy. I liked the casting of Blake Lively, you know, first and foremost. I thought she did a phenomenal job in this movie. You know, I'm really into filmmaking, and this was a really creative movie. And so at the end of the movie, I was, I'm really interested to know the whole making of process. And I think I want to go look that up right after this, um, whether it's on the Blu-ray. I want to check and see if it's on the Blu-ray or not. But I'd like to see the making of it, you know, uh, how they filmed everything and the sequences and stuff like that. And if they filmed on location the entire time or in a pool, I don't know. Yo, this was a really good movie, and I would suggest that all of y'all go and see it if you hadn't seen it already. And if you have seen it, you know it's a good movie, and I'm sure it was a thrill ride for you as well. The Shallows movie is coming to digital, Blu-ray, and DVD. Uh, it'll be about $14.99, which ain't too bad. You know, I remember when I was a kid, I loved getting DVDs, and those usually ran about 20 bucks. Shallows has been available on iTunes and Amazon Video since September 13th, and The Shallows will be available on Blu-ray September 27th, so make sure y'all go pick it up. It's an awesome movie. You know, I didn't really plan on doing a video today. I was actually going to postpone this whole video, but it just seemed appropriate with where Alistair and I are in our relationship. You know, I gotta say, y'all, this is the problem with our relationship. Um, the long distance, and you know, I knew it would be. And I would like to share with all of y'all, whether you're in a long distance relationship or not, that everything is not always puppy dogs and rainbows, and shit gets hard. You know, I think without today's technology, this long distance relationship would be a little bit hard. And I don't know if he and I would have made it this far. FaceTime is an absolute godsend. I love it. Uh, we FaceTime all the time. You know, we're always on FaceTime or the phone or texting. I really, I'm a horrible texter and I, I'm really bad at texting people back. Um, but I seem to text him just fine. I'm always texting him if I'm not FaceTiming him. You know, I like to be able to do the normal things that normal couples do. You know, we're just doing it in a little bit of a different way. Normal couples go see movies and stuff together. He and I just happen to watch movies on FaceTime together. If y'all have movie, TV show ideas, make sure to send them my way because we would love them. Now, even though we're both 100% in on it, on the interaction aspect, you know, things still get tough. There are still some parts of a long distance relationship that are really, really hard. <laughs> One of the biggest struggles we face in our long distance relationship, you know, especially being as far apart as we are, is money. I really hate talking about money. I think it's I think it's very rude to talk about money, but in terms of this long distance relationship, you know why not be honest and upfront about it. Being in a long distance relationship ain't cheap at all. Money is a killer. Airfare is super expensive. Then you got the Airbnb, you got money to go out to eat, you got to have money to do things when you're together. You know, it's just not easy. It's very, very hard. Why it's so expensive to fly, but it is and being able to see each other, we have to fly, so you know that's, that's you know four or five hundred dollars every time we want to see each other. Got tips on flying cheap? Make sure to leave them in the comments below. We'd love to. Problems are another big thing, you know. FaceTime and everything that's great, but I, I guess it's because the internet on both of our ends is so crappy on his end and my end that connection is really bad sometimes. You know, there's sometimes where it's really good and we don't really have any problems, but. Usually, you know, I'd say seven out of ten times we're, we're having to reconnect. The FaceTime goes to the reconnect screen, it hangs up, uh, there's drop calls. We got to call each other back two, three times, you know. Sometimes that gets really frustrating where, you know, you kind of want to stop trying. You don't really want to make that fourth call, make that fifth call, but you do it anyway because you love the guy, but it gets frustrating. I'm not going to lie. It gets really, really frustrating. I'd say that's a very small problem. Biggest problem that is the biggest killer is just not having him here physically. We talk all the time, 
even though we're always in communication. Not having him here is really the hardest part. I want him here so bad whenever I'm talking to him, I just, I just want him in my arms. That's what I want. I, I can't wait until this year is over and we can just be together without any connection problems, without having to spend boatloads on airfare. Uh, we, can just, we can just be in the same space. I can hold him and he, he's just, he can be my baby. <laughs> I feel like I'm waiting to have my baby back. Now I know that it, it seems like I'm complaining in this video, but I'm really, I'm really just trying to give you all an idea of how a long distance relationship is. It ain't easy by any means, and I, I understand why people say long distance relationships don't work. However, all of this is so small and minuscule compared to my love for Alistair J. Ben. I love him so much, baby, I love you. And you're, you're completely worth all of this. You're worth all of the frustrations, all the money, everything. I just want a life with you and if we have to make it through one bad year, that's completely fine with me. I can stick through it. I love you so much. You know, this will be practice for deployment because we know you're going to be deploying at some point. Baby, baby, uh, I just love you and you're worth everything. So this is going to be one hard year, but we're going to get through it. You and I both, baby. So if y'all have taken anything from this, just take away that Long distance relationships are hard, yes, but if you really love somebody and you're really wanting to make it work and both parties are really wanting to make it work equally, then go for it. Just go for it. Don't listen to everybody else telling you it ain't gonna work. Just go for it because if it's the right person, it will work. It will, I promise you. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day. I'm gonna break this damn camera one day.